Okay, I figured it out. So, these bolts come through the phenolic plate. And there's a cork gasket in between the phenolic plate and the, uh, the body of the voltage regulator. And these copper fittings were soldered to the underside of the bolts. So I unsoldered them and did a little, little bit of measuring and resoldered new fittings to these. So everything will fit right together. I need to really field day this little work area. I don't have any room to really work, do what I want to do. So let's see if I can get this. Oh my god. Together. All right. So this one is offset to the left. This one is offset to the right. And this one is set right in the middle. get over everything okay I guess I have to leave these a little loose Okay. Two of them I had backwards. There, that fit perfectly.
little bit of adjusting is needed. Let's see what happens when I tighten the nuts down. Dang, that's pretty close. How about that? This is working out. reach that with the wrench. Oh, great. Excellent. Nice. So, one, two, three more lock washers. nut that holds the f electrical fitting down. Oh, 
tools. <clears throat> and got paint on the threads. Look at that. Now even though <clears throat> even though this data plate reads 40 amps at six and a half volts and that the charging open circuit uh, at operating temperature is seven and a half volts, uh, it looks stock and it matches that voltage regulator inside matches my uh, 12 volt coil and uh, everything's bitching. So, hmm, let's see something here. Oh, we're not fitting right. Let's see what's going on. Maybe the cover on that voltage regulator. Should be enough room. There it is. Yeah, I just didn't slide it together all the way. going on this edge right here right along here is interfering with the cap the cover the cover for this uh, voltage regulator let's investigate something here That's got it. Okay, so we're gonna leave the cap off. Get a nice fit. There's a felt uh, weatherproof seal. And so, yeah, this is what the inside of the voltage regulator looks like. Um, simple. A lot, it, they're, the old ones are reliable too, but uh, you know, you can't get them, I can't find them in 12 volt. Okay. <laughs> Let's put it on the correct way. There it is. Finished. <sighs> Ready for installation into my Chevy truck. Perfect. So, I'll hang on to this stuff.
There goes the screw. And I think that's going to be just about it for this video. Well, look at that. for the ground uh, yeah I have to run a ground wire so I'll just probably run along bolt through here and attach the ground to the ground screw on the uh, internal voltage regulator but yeah I like this it's worked out really well takes a little bit of time a little bit of effort A little bit of forethought and it also helps to be smarter than your average house cat. Perfect. Okay, thanks for watching my video. You guys have a great day. Later.